So I called my obstetrician and he said, I think you should get to the hospital as soon as you can because you can't wait for your husband. And I said, I've only been waiting 10 minutes for my husband. So I went down to the foyer and the doorman took one look at me and said, let's get you a cab. And um, my lovely doorman, Anton, walked me to the corner of the street. And I turned around to him and I said, I'm in trouble. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. And he was trying to hail a cab on 68th and 3rd. And I was on the street and I went, uh-oh, I'm not going to make it. I need to actually sit down. So um, Anton propped me up. Um, a number of people came around to help me. I wanted to thank them very much for um, giving their sweaters and their coats. And um, we're very lucky. The ambulance crew were amazing. And she just came out um, in about, I had about half an hour's warning. So... Um, Isla, um, but she came out on the street in about 30 seconds. Yes, yeah. I had no choice on that one. Um, and um, uh, Isla Isabella McCourt, her name is Isabella, after the, the lady who gave her coat and walked all the way home with a t shirt on. Um, I will always, re she'll always remember it. So, thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. <laughs>